Welcome to mud season here on the farm. It's gross. Got something I'm going to work on in the bunny barn and rabbitat today. All about continuous improvement here on the farm. And my bunny barn and rabbitat is no exception. So I got these metal things. I don't even know what they are. This looks like maybe just some kind of wall mounted basket. It's flat on one side. And this, I guess, is just some kind of holder. but. I got a couple of thoughts on how I can turn this into a rabbit hay feeder so that they don't waste too much hay. But we're going to do some other stuff today on the farm too, so let's go. with the duck eggs today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's go. I gotta sell these eggs. Let's go, out. Gotta sell the eggs. What's all over your face? What is that? Weeds? Some kind of seeds. These dogs are always getting into something. <laughs> but guess what? Nine duck eggs today. Nine. The baby bunnies are doing fabulous. Fabulous. Well, that's not true. One of them has an eye problem. <laughs> I shouldn't have said fabulous. I spoke too soon. Oh, hey, Dexter. How you doing? Are you coming in? Are you hands waiting for some breakfast? I picked up a whole bunch of feed the other day. Dexter's in here though, to take care of whatever rodent issues we have. I don't know where the other two are right now. Chunk and Maggie, they're out and about. I don't know where they are. They'll pop up anytime now. Oh, hello hen. What'd you guys do with all the straw? You took all the straw. Are you done hen? Okay, got it. Let's get more straw in here. Ooh, I don't know, they keep taking the straw out. You gonna make a nest right away? You want the fresh straw, don't ya? Don't ya? You're farm dirty today, kiddo. Yeah. Yeah, you're dirty. You're dirty. You're a dirty girl. You want that ball? Ready? Don't go in the mud. Oh, there's Maggie. I told you she'd pop up. Give her a little kiss. 
Smell that ass. Some of the hens are having a problem with their hair. Look at that one. It's like it's all been plucked out. Look at that one. Look at that one. But a lot of them still look really good. Like that one looks pretty perfect. That one looks perfect. That one looks good. That one looks good. But this one don't look good at all. And you can't even blame a rooster for that because as you know who's been following along big red has been separated for quite a long while now several weeks in fact i didn't even keep track of when i separated him but it's got to be more than a month now so the point is we must have a hen plucker you know one of the hens or two of the hens or maybe there's several of them are plucking big red that's why i separated him in the first place and they're probably plucking those other hens. So I don't really know what to do about that other than maybe identify those pluckers and separate them. Elvis, you'll be good. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up, buddy. Ready? Ready? Molly, you waiting for me? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Good girl, huh? Why are you guys putting the ball right in the mud? That's why you're getting your face all muddy. Get your ball out of the mud. Look at your face. That's not funny. Mama's gonna be pissed. Hey Maggie, how are you? How are you? You okay? Let's do a last minute check. Whoa! See, I told you they're gonna lay more. God, look at all the eggs we got today. That's crazy. Got four from the black leghorns. Whew. This is nice. Thermostat says it's quite warm today. Six degrees, that's pretty good. Not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's okay. It's not freezing. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday I dumped out this duck feeder because there was only crumbs left on the bottom. So I just got the four bags and a filler up for the ducks so that they have something to eat. Exactly four bags of feed. It's getting pretty nasty in here. I better give them their fresh water. All is looking all muddy. 
it's sinking everywhere. Actually, it's not mud. <laughs> yeah, I got all sorts of goodies for them today. Apples, bananas, strawberries. You guys are nuts. Bobby. Billy, here, have some strawberries. Here, you okay, Rabbit? Oh, if you want to play again, ready? Man, we've had Billy the mini pig since like, what, last August? Something like that? She's never done anything like that, ever. Not to me. Bobby jumped on me a couple times, but <laughs> my darling's gonna be pissed because my pants are so muddy. <laughs> and it's not mud, guys, wink, wink. Jeez Louise, well, every time I go in there now, is that something I gotta be worried about? <laughs> Let me go and check out these rabbits and see how I can figure out to install these hay feeders. I got a bunch of Timothy hay and I need to set up feeders because I've been giving them this Timothy hay and they spill it and they make a mess and it's wasting it. And it's not cheap stuff either, so I gotta figure it out.
really don't know what this thing is. It's got some kind of a little label here. I don't even know. I just found it in the barn. It's flat on one side, so it can be mounted to the wall. And I think the, the holes are big enough that the hay can stick through and the rabbit can just bite the hay. I got a tray down here and I'm just going to install it at a height that I think the rabbits can reach it. And then <laughs> it'll save the waste. Stuff it in here for the buck. Give him the good stuff. This is the one baby bunny. Her one eye is good. But look at this side. It's like it's closed. So what I've been doing is putting a damp cloth, trying to moisten it up, eh? Because I think it just got stuck with goop and maybe she has like a teary eye. Anyway, she's pretty beautiful though. Oh no. This is not gonna be good. Olive, you're getting your football all muddy. What are you doing? Look at your face! I think that these hay feeders are going to work. Once the rabbits get used to them, they're going to do just fine, actually. And if you want to watch a video here on how I built this bunny barn and rabbitat, I'll put it up on the screen for you to continue the show. Thanks for watching.